Someone once said, you should treat your textbook as if it's a loose-leaf binder. Take out the pages that don't count anymore and replace them with the new pages. The story is still being written, and I want to see how it works out. I knew almost from the beginning when I started at the medical school here that this was not just a job. During my deanship, the post-war baby boom generation started to fill the universities with large numbers of people. But another major challenge was the huge increase in technology. How do we keep pace with all of that for the benefit of our uh, students and our faculty? You know, I think that you could film me probably for 24 hours and I wouldn't do justice to what Arnold Neymark has done with his life. He was a clinical research scientist to the core, but the same skills he brought to administration of the university as a whole. He always kept his eye on Manitoba and promoted Manitoba in a meaningful way. And so that's where he put his energies in research and education so that Manitoba became involved quite extensively in the network centers of excellence, for example. When I became the dean of the medical school, there were a wide variety of changes that were taking place. There weren't many specialty training programs in Manitoba, so graduates from Manitoba who wanted to specialize usually had to leave the province and sometimes the country. Now that's changed quite dramatically. He really took the university into the broader community and identified certain sectors of that community that really needed greater push and initiative. In order for us to be able to work effectively together in these very complicated areas, we really need to have representation, not only to contribute our fair share to the knowledge that the country has, but also to uh, make sure that we benefit from the insights that we learn by working with people from other provinces and in other disciplines. I think that he serves as a role model for any University of Manitoba alumnus or alumna on what you can do with your life I mean, the awards are endless, but I think that doesn't matter as much as what those honors represent. And that is really a lifetime of dedication in service through the mechanisms that he knows best. The award being given to me is a very special opportunity for me to say thank you. Thank you to the university but thank you to all of my alumni colleagues all over the world who do good work day in and day out and who are a great source of pride. <laughs>